Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Ty for Christ. Thank you for joining me today, guys, on Thursday, April 20th. Yes, April 20th, 2023. It is 3.41 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak and re record, guys. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me yesterday. Anybody that watched that extra video I did, you know, the little uh, acceptance speak. I don't know which one to call it, guys. But anybody that followed me yesterday or watched that video or has been listening, I was blessed last night to receive the overall employee of the year for uh, support staff, uh, central office based uh, employee of the year for Frederick County Public Schools. Huge blessing, guys. Huge blessing. And I'll tell you, I have found out that one of the hardest things to balance two, two godly aspects, trying to balance humility and gratitude at the same time. Guys, it's it's tough. It's tough. And I understand people want to congratulate you and acknowledge you and all that. But guys, if it was not Christ in me and living through me for God's glory, I, I would never have been up there last night. So I got to give God all the glory. But I do understand people. I understand people want to pat you on the back. But I just, guys, I'm no different today than I was before last night. I'm not going to change. Just like the Lord saying yesterday, today and forever. So but I just want to give God praise for that, guys. So we're just going to keep it moving. Uh, today's video, uh, a devotional, guys, thank you again for joining me. Who is this? And I, when I saw that title, guys, I had to laugh because my phone's been getting blown up so much today by text messages. People congrat congratulate me saying you deserve it. Guys, if it's a phone number, I don't even know who you are. I, that means I have not communicated to you in a very long time and just to reach out because... Guys, please understand, don't take this wrong. I'm not being ungrateful and appreciative, but if I have not spoken, don't don't just reach out to me in a situation like this, guys. Please, I, I love you no matter if I talk to you or not throughout the year. So, but I appreciate it. Uh, so who is this? Who, who is this? Um, in our study scriptures is Luke chapter 19. I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired. Luke 19, verses 28 through 40. And our, our leadoff verse is Luke 19, verse 38. And the word of God says, this is what the disciples were shouting. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Guys, please read our studies. This, this is the triumphant entry. Jesus coming in, you know, coming into his death, his death place, place of death. He knew he's entering his town to be crucified. And God, it's just, man, Jesus is so awesome. He's so awesome. Uh, Jennifer Benson Schultz writes this today. Imagine, imagine standing shoulder to shoulder with onlookers by a dirt road. The woman behind you is on her tiptoes trying to see who is coming. In the distance, you glimpse a man riding a donkey. As he approaches, people toss their coats onto the road. Suddenly, you hear a tree crack behind you. A young man is cutting down palm branches, and people are spreading, out, spreading them out ahead of the donkey. Like the background here, guys, I mean, it's a good, good recreation, taking scriptures of what this the Jesus' triumphant entry was actually like. People were, it was an amazing, amazing welcome home ceremony. Welcome, you know, it's, it's just, wow, Jesus. Uh, Jesus' followers zealously honored him as he entered Jerusalem a few days before his crucifixion. Knowing what was going to happen. Uh, the multitude rejoiced and praised God for all the miracles they had seen. And that's uh, verse 37. Jesus's devotees surrounded him, calling out, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Their enthusiastic honor affected the people of Jerusalem. And I'm going to add, it insulted, it insulted the scribes and Pharisees and Sadducees. When Jesus finally arrived, the whole city was stirred and asked, who is this? And that's a... Um, <laughs> Jesus, I love you, brother. Uh, that's Matthew verse tw uh, chapter 21, verse 10. Today, people are still curious about Jesus. Although we can't pave his way with palm branches or shout praises to him in person, and yes, we can, uh, we can still honor him. Yeah, absolutely, we can and we should be. We can discuss his remarkable works, assist people in need. That's Galatians 6, 2. Patiently bear insults, that's 1 Peter 4, 14 through 16, and love each other deeply. Then we must be ready to answer the onlookers who ask, who is this? Amen. Thank you, Jennifer. And our quote today, folks, is we honor God's name 
when we call him our father and live like his children. Sure. Man, there's another T-shirt. I, you know what? I think I think we just need to get a T-shirt business. Guys, this is so beautiful. Who is this? Not only all throughout the Old Testament was Jesus prophesied about and almost explained to a T what he was, I mean, how tall he was, his height and his weight, almost almost to a T, guys, when he was going to be born, how, where, what he's going to do, where he was going to preach, what he was going to preach. It was prophesied. And then all through the, the New Testament, we read, you know, the accounts of the gospels of Jesus' teachings, the three three plus years of him teaching, walking this earth, walking and talking how we're to be, uh, teaching and preaching the kingdom. He did not teach and preach himself at all, guys. Jesus never preached himself. He always said, I only do what I hear the Father, or say what I hear the Father say and do what the Father tells me to do. Jesus preached about the kingdom. And, uh, you know, it even even after all those centuries, add it up, guys, however, however high you want your calculator to go, even when Jesus entered into Jerusalem, they still said, who is this? Who is this? Why, why we all, hey, why am I here waving my hands and shouting and screaming and having a party? I don't even know who I'm clapping for. Guys, we do that today. We do that today in the church. We're, we're up there, you know, we're in the front row with our hands lifted to the skies and we're praising and worshiping. We don't have a clue who Jesus is. We don't know him because we don't spend time in the word, guys. We just go to church for an hour, hour and a half, once a week, and we think that that's the check mark for the week, guys. And yeah, I'm being brutal and honest because we need to be, we need to stand up and boldness, guys. We have got to get in this word. We've got to digest it every single day. Let it penetrate our hearts. Let it push out all this nasty stuff that the world has put in there, to, you know, every day. The world puts nasty stuff in there every day, guys. If you go back to Genesis and you read it, it's like, you know, after the serpent deceived Eve, after he told her, surely you're not going to be like God and die. Surely you're not going to die. You're going to be just like God. And it says, and then Eve saw, and it says, after they ate, their eyes were open. Then their eyes were open. So then they saw. Guys, I don't have a clue where I was going with that one. But just let like that speak to you. You know, we we're so blinded this this world, you know, because we're seeing this world with our physical eyes. So that's where I was going. Thank you, Lord. We're seeing things physically through our eyes every single day. Worldly things, God. God tells us not to focus on the things seen, but on the things unseen. So if we're spending all day long physically seeing early and earthly things, earthly things, we're hearing these things, guys. We need to spend time in the word, the word of God, which is all spirit. It's breathed out and inspired by God, which is spirit. That's what that means is breath. So every single word is coming out of God's mouth. If that's the unseen, even though we're reading words, guys, it, it's a breathed out word from God. You can't, you cannot see words when you're talking. You guys hear me talking right now, but you cannot see the words unless you have it on closed caption, which does not work well for me because of this Thermont tongue I got. Closed caption has a hard time understanding what I'm saying. But you understand what I'm saying is you can't physically see a word. That's why the word of God is spirit. And we get that in us, the stuff that you cannot see to push out the stuff that we've seen throughout the day. So back to the devotional, you know, you get in the word and you get all that in you. Guys, we should never, never be. And I don't, I'm not going to call myself a Christian anyway. And a lot of people shake their head and, and mumble and disagree with that. I don't care. I call myself a disciple. But if you're going to call yourself a Christian, you better, you better be prepared to answer the question when somebody comes up to you and asks you, who is Jesus? Who is this? You got to be prepared for that, guys. At least be prepared for that. And, you know, yes, he's fully God, fully man. He's the son of God. He was born of the Virgin Mary. He walked his earth teaching for 33 plus, give or take years, knowing his outcome, knowing what his purpose in life was for three plus years. He taught us and this and that, and then gave his life for everybody gave his life for everybody and was resurrected. So, so those that believe will be resurrected with him when he returns forever, guys. Who's Jesus? He's my big brother. He's my best friend. He's my Lord. He's my savior, my rock, my redeemer, my strong tower. He's my foundation, my fortress. Man, he, he is everything. He is now in me. So that's who Jesus is, guys. And that, that's the kind of questions that we should actually anticipate every single day for somebody to ask us, I pray, I pray every day that God would send somebody to me that does not know Jesus. And again, that's part of my, my personal prayer every morning, guys. I just say, God, use me for your glory. You know, let your glory seen, be seen in me and through me. So guys, answer that question yourself first. How would you, if somebody asked you, who is Jesus? How would you answer that? And uh, be prepared for that. Because if, 
if you got a good answer and don't try to come up with it on yourself, folks, just let the Holy Spirit speak to you by getting in the word, by getting in the scriptures every single day. So guys, thank you for joining me. I'm going to go out here while it's still beautiful, get some mowing done, get the weed whacker running, and just continue to give God glory and praise while I wear my Team Jesus shirt outside and let the neighbors see that and just uh, keep it rolling. So guys, thank you for joining me. And until tomorrow, we'll see what the Lord says. Love you guys.